I'm Brian Gratwick. I'm an amphibian conservation biologist at the Smithsonian's National Zoo. My research is focused on how to mitigate amphibian declines. Amphibians are declining all over the world and we are losing about 40% of all of the species that we know of. My job is to try and figure out how we use resources of the Smithsonian to stop those amphibian extinctions that are happening every day. So we're going to go out into the wilds of places like Panama and collect amphibians that are at grave risk of extinction and put them into a facility designed specifically to hold these amphibians over the longer term because we know that they will probably not survive in the wild. There are many threats to amphibians around the world, ranging from habitat loss, which is cited as the most precarious situation, to climate change, to pollution. But the threat that I'm really focused on mitigating is the threat of an invasive pathogen called chytridiomycosis. And it's a fungal disease that was introduced into the New World and has been spreading throughout frog populations, particularly in the mountainous neotropics, where there have been catastrophic amphibian declines. When the fungus hits in in mountainous regions of Central America, we lose 50% of the species and 90% of the individuals. Amphibians matter to everyone. We shouldn't let them go extinct because we don't really know what treasures and secrets they hold. For example, some frogs have chemicals that they secrete in their skin that have been shown to block HIV transmission to T-cells. Other frogs have certain kinds of chemicals in their skin that have been shown to be 200 times more powerful than morphine and non-addictive. So frogs really do contain a pharmacopoeia of potentially useful chemicals in their skin that could help humans. And they also perform very important ecological services. Amphibians eat a lot of important insects that'll be transmitting human diseases or damaging our crops. I grew up in Zimbabwe and I was surrounded by wildlife. I cycled past elephants on my way to school. I couldn't ignore it. I grew up in the most incredible place where I had access to all different kinds of wildlife. And so that got me really interested in animals and I pursued my career as a biological scientist. What the real transformation for me has been is I've taken all of those lessons learned as a scientist and I've learned that we can actually use our own human value system and overlay those with scientific principles. And we can use scientific principles to objectively answer very important questions that will guide our actions to save species and ensure that they will be around on this planet for future generations.